Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Undermine. We're here with Had Blood, about to do an other mine run. I really want to start an undermine run, but uh, it's a bit late, so I don't want to put aside two hours or two plus hours to the full undermine run. But let's also not say that this is going to be a short episode. I am here going to, I'm going to try to approach this a little differently. First, let's start you off. But I'm approaching this as, remember when we first started playing the game? Where you didn't have all of these resources to remove courses, etc. And everything was kind of really scary. Or resources were limited, at least. Just try to play it a little slower, I guess. And see how that works out for you. And right off the bat, we're going to start off with Key Doubler. Because that's great. We're going to do Loyalty because we want things to be cheaper since we're hyper poor. Reduce maximum health or uncooked food is less effective and has a chance to poison. So that's really bad. Yes, but we can get rid of it. And also it doesn't do more damage than it heals us for. But actually reduce. How much does it reduce me? decent amount but let's see yeah minus 60 that's a that's a good amount let's look at what our upgrades are they're both garbage so we have very low damage to start or basically starter damage not a biggie now spirit for potions or we can bless let's let's do the bless one and I know what I've said. I don't think it's a good one to go with. We're not going to do the, the curse. Siegfried's curse. But. We're going to go with. Look at that. Two bombs right away. We're going to go with the self. Because. We want the purge. The, cur the curse purger. To. Hook us up without us having to expend too much health. See, 25 is pretty good. And just like that, our health is back to normal. We're at 165. So I would say that's okay. And I feel like she gained way more XP than she normally does. Maybe it's balanced that way. Where... Ah. Maybe it's balanced that way so where since they know that it's the other mine and technically shorter than, than any of the others then the xp distribution is a little different maybe they give you a little more hello shop i don't i could use this potion of plenty so i can get a key but i can buy swing damage right now <laughs> But let's not do that yet. Let's keep a lookout for maybe shinies. Hey, lunchbox. How are you? Okay, bye, lunchbox. So we hopefully get to see a key. Not quite. But the money is serious right now, actually. Mine. The money is not bad at all. Burns nearby enemies. Any potion is a good potion at the moment. It's approaching this differently again. I'm too used to. So I've understood. I've seen. I've noticed it. So I'm too used to being OP in the undermine runs. that I play a certain way, like kind of face tank certain things. I'm not as cautious, etc. When I should be extra cautious because, again, it's a roguelike, not a roguelite. They're just flipping it up on you. So as long as I approach this that way, everything might be okay. But all of that might be for naught. Because as you've noticed, or I don't know if you've noticed yet. But. This floor layout looks an awful lot like the core. And uh, guess who the boss is of the core? Mr. Salamander Man. The Seer. Which is mighty unfortunate for me because 
I feel like we have a shot at beating him. Enemies hit with a thrown pickaxe explode on death. It's an actual garbage relic. Like completely garbage. And I'm kind of offended that you gave it to me. But I have to remember what's at the shop. I know I had swing damage for cheap, which is great. That could be a secret room, by the way. It could be. Let's do it now, just in case. I have two bombs. If it's not, then we're done. Okay, it's not there. Good to know. We're not going to use another bomb. So this could give me a key. And keys are mighty useful. Let's do it. We need the key. We know we need the key. So get your consumables and then buy more damage. That's an upgrade for you on this floor. Use that as basically you just got a relic. Can we handle the salamander with no upgrades? I mean, with this up, just one damage upgrade? Don't know. But we don't have a choice, right? So let's do it. Let's do it. I could use a bomb. Oh, I have two bombs. You could technically be something too, but I want to be sure. But there's no way to be sure. Thankfully, we found something. What are y'all? Okay, I can make this. What resources will be given to me? Good enough. Good enough. Gold is mighty, mighty helpful. It puts me at 91, which you could technically buy me another bomb. And I think I will do that. Again, we have to try. If we're going to take this seriously. And not just trying to go for a short run, speed run. We need to remember resources are key right now. Your health is good. You found one secret room. Good enough. We're not going to go for both. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, I don't feel comfortable with fighting you guys, but you know what? I pop you, I leave, and then I'll pop you later if need be. I think everything will be okay because things despawn. So we're going to check for secret rooms now. Hey, my dear. Can you check if this is a secret room? I don't think it is, but... Oh my goodness, it is. Well then, can you blow this up for me? Thank- I love you, Bobo. Bobo MVP of this game. Be careful, just hit him once. Because he's a madman. There you go. One hit is enough. Oh, so smack himself. You smack him. You don't have to worry about his hitbox. What are you? Oh, that's quite nice. Good to know that that exists. Very good to know. Because we can hopefully find an altar or something. It can give us a curse and then have it purge. Ooh. Ah, wait. Don't. Oh, shit. I'm silly goose. For some reason, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. I think it's worth exploring the floor in its entirety. Because you can use that to heal in case stuff that wants you to use oh shit thanks for the bomb that hurt in case there's stuff that wants you to use your health as a resource can we help him no there's something you can blow up for me let's do it let's do it it's good get marked for explosions Mark for expl Ooh, look at that the explosion finally killed something else so a key for a relic that's an easy yes spare ordinance is also really good we just need to survive the seer good news is if we survive the salamander we have no reason why this run can't go far because that's the biggest obstacle in our run it always is, even in the normal undermine runs. We can get through the Sally. We're good. We're good money for the rest of the run. But that means we would have to be methodical in this fight. And we're not really known to be methodical. My play style is more of a just rush headlong at it and hope for the best. It's worked out for the past 50 or so episodes not in the undermine i mean not in the other mine but in the other mine i mean undermine geez it's gone pretty well hey black rabbit 
Ooh, and we can purge a curse too? We're gonna do this. 400. It's always just too much. It's always too much. Purge the curse. Thank you. I will take swing speed. I will take maximum health. And that's plants hurt me. What's up? I will clear that with a talisman as soon as possible. But by as soon as possible, I mean like... It'll take me a little longer. Very helpful. Dude, this is paying out way better than anything else. Heck yeah. Let's not go too close. Oh! What? We're using that talisman right away. Yeah, I think you're right here. Yes, you are. Get out of here. I don't want plants hurting me. Beautiful. What's in the shop? Because I keep I want to keep playing this stuff. Absolute. <laughs> of course you give me absolution. Um part of me really wants to play her game. Oh get this. Wait for the fire. Then get the fishies. Okay. If we said we're playing this seriously, we won't play for too many payouts, too many more payouts. But it would be nice, right? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, wait. We found one secret room, and that's the one that's adjacent to other things. So, what other way could we possibly get 19? It's, this is the only way? <laughs> get 19 coinsies there's no other way or other than like maybe finding another secret room but i'm not willing i can't i'm gonna be i'm gonna be a chicken i'm not i'm not willing to do that we can do that and then buy health but i can't if we're taking the run seriously and trying to win i can't gamble too much it's a fun thing to do but i can't do it so, increased blessing options is great. I don't care about the damage of bombs. But please give me more blessing options. And please do give me the bomb bag. Much appreciated. I would have really, really, really liked to have had 400. But unfortunately, we couldn't make it work. So let's go. It says we have to. We have to temper our expectations. It's an other mine run. We can do this. Oh shit. Focus on just. Oh boy. Focus on just one thing at a time. Or one secret room, too. And then call that a win. Don't try to look for two. Because here, money is a problem. Unless you have the, the, the credit card. Which I would love so much. So, hey, game. You want to give it to me? Let me know. I would love it so much. Oh, I didn't see that hole. Well, at least you get to die. Thanks. I see those. I'm not going to hit it. I promise. Nope. Okay. Enough. Now we hit you so we can get some gold. Because gold is a resource that we need a lot of in this game. And I see another one in the corner for sure. Thanks, 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 thanks. Much appreciated. I do see that altar. We will be using it for sure. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Having lowered shop cost is really good in an other mine run. Because you're broke most of the time. So I'm gonna call it. I feel like that's the good call, the better call. What'd you say? It's a sale? Thank you. I appreciate it. Gordon's tunic would be useful against the seer. The keys are also useful. Counterweight is Garbaggio. This is our boss floor. So we can go crazy with buying stuff. We can't afford Gordon's tunic yet. But what we're concerned about is clearly trying to survive the seer 
which is something we really, really, really want to try to do. <laughs> so how do we do that? Well, one, by going to the relic room. We don't have to worry about spending a key. Oh, that's right. We have key doubler. Oh, hello. Throw speed, swing size, swing speed. This, this helps. This helps big time. Yep. And we can't get that curse quite yet. We don't care about it. We can't do it. We can't do it. <laughs> it's something, but we can't do it. Give me some more gold. All right. So now, look for it. Look for a secret room here. Beautiful. I'll do it. Our goal is to try to survive because this could be the end of the run too. If we don't survive and that gave us a key that's beautiful. Thank you. We don't need to worry about you. I guess you lead to an adjacent room. So we got some more crit chance, which is nice. Not much, but 13 with base damage of 18. It's going to be rough. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, but maybe just maybe we might make it out alive i'm going to try maximize our chances by buying some food we're also buying gordon's tunic because we need it then buying some food and then the key if we survive i don't think we are but i'm gonna try all right seer i'm gonna take you hopefully you are the seer and it's not a fake out and it's not salt. Let's go. It's not the seer. It's the freaking golem. It's still really hard, but still, but not as hard as the seer. Okay, I think we got this as long as we're smarter about how we do this. Yep, we haven't taken a lick of damage yet. But now we did. I had to, I had to jinx it. Why I jinx? Why I jinx? Why I do this? Why I jinx? Hit him. Hit him. This is great practice for future runs, too. For any run where you have this. For future, like, higher level summoning stone runs. I say this is great practice, too. Ah. My swing size is not this beak. One's gone. One's gone. One's gone. Another one's gone. Another one's gone. Oh, crap it. Oh, crap it. Okay. I can take this one out. I can take that one out too. I can take this one out. <gasps> what? I died. I was hitting it. I can't believe it. That's actually, dude. I didn't even realize I was touching it and I wasn't looking at my health. I cannot believe that that's a loss. I honestly thought that we had a chance there. I truly, truly did think that we had a chance. But I think we have our mind right to get a good under other mind run. You saw that was going pretty good. I just shit the bed at the end. Ah, we're going to have a successful other mind run. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Like if you enjoyed this episode, comment if you want to talk about it. Subscribe if you want to hang out. See you in the next one. Bye.